In this video, I am continuing the project of building a computer in fact Oreo. In the previous video, we built a rudimentary hard drive that could hold a whopping 16 kilobytes of data. Today, we take on a slightly more ambitious project, the construction of the motherboard. The hard drive didn't have many moving parts, but the motherboard is a bit more lively. We need to utilize some basic coding fundamentals with the help of logical gates. In programming, there is the yes gate, the no gate, the maybe gate, the I don't know gate, and the can you repeat the question gate. Luckily, as you can see, Fact Oreo does a fantastic job of representing logic gates by using actual gates. There are additional logic gates, such as the you're not the boss of me now gate, and the life is unfair gate, but we probably won't be needing them. Here is a quick demonstration of how information passes through the gates, with the yes gate, any number and any type of input is allowed through at all times. With a no gate, no information is ever allowed through. A maybe gate will only let one type of information through at a time, but it can be any type of signal. The I don't know gate will randomly let through different types of signals at various intervals. The can you repeat the question gate is a bit more complicated, and requires interaction with the previous gates. I'll get to it later. As much as I want to use this computer to play Fact Oreo within Fact Oreo, I am limited to something more like Pong. Using logical gates, I can give the machine specific instructions. Here I chain two yes gates to a maybe gate, which acts as an internal checker. In other words, both yes gates must be open for the maybe gate to open. This is useful for if I want something to happen only if multiple statements are true. For example, I want a C output only if both A and B are true. I can add another layer of complexity, by chaining this cluster to 10 no gates and an I don't know gate which leads to a can you repeat the question gate. Now, not only does A and B have to be true, several other signals have to be false and certain groups of signals can be either true or false. Here is a more robust setup where the logic gates are reading specific information from the hard drive, and outputting relevant data back into it. You probably noticed the amount of cabling required to connect the gates. It's not really that different from a traditional computer, it just looks weird in the game. Each wire has a specific function, whether it is providing power, data, or shifting ones and zeros around, and I may have to do a separate video explaining that part. I am quickly running out of physical space to build this, so I will either need to double the size of the motherboard, or condense it in some way. We are all learning together, but I'm sure we'll come right. A problem I'm running into is that the machine is rather slow in its current state, which is probably due to the limitations of the game. However, Fact Oreo prides itself in offering unconventional ways to solve problems. And there is one specific resource in the game that can help us with computational power, but I'll leave that as a surprise in the next video.